Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, sis, my sister, my sisters, how y'all doing? Hey, guess what? We your brothers, right? You see, when you see us, do you see brothers? As a brother, can I ask you a question? One second, two seconds of your time. I know y'all about to go have, you know, fun. Just give me two minutes of your time, and I'm going to let y'all go, right? Let me show you something in two minutes. My sister, I see you got the elder sister with you. Two minutes. Just come close. You come close. I don't want you to get hit by a car. You know, they got laws and ordinances. The police officers are doing a good job to make sure nobody get hit and stuff like that, right? So we're going to help them out. But then, guess what? We're about to help you out today, all right? It, do you know what nationality that our people are in the Bible? Do you know? Baptist. Baptist. All right, I'm going to help you with that. Baptist was the name of uh, Jesus Christ's cousin, John the Baptist, all right? It's not, uh, it became a religious uh, denomination after John Smith in the 1800s had took and made it a denomination all right it was a so-called white man and he changed it to baptist and made a denomination under the umbrella of christianity Bring all right up. so you have what baptist pentecostal uh catholic you have all of these religions right but guess what the bible was never about a denomination right the bible was about a specific group of people who are supposed to be ruling the planet earth that's right did you know that did you know you want to know who you are here? Like, it's Saturday, right? You, there's a piece of information you're about to get right now, I promise you. You won't get it tomorrow. Bring it out. You're going to get it right now. Let's show my sister who they are in the Bible. For example, what color is Jesus? What color is he? White skin. He what? White skin. Is he? Is he? Is he? Let's see what the Bible says. Bring it out. Just, hey, can, hey, this is what we're going to do, my sister. Look. I'm, hey, I'm going to let the Bible tell you. I'm not going to give you my opinion, right? Because my opinion don't mean nothing. Bring you ready know what the Bible says? Watch this. Read. The book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. Bring Bring you know. Revelation means to reveal. That's what the root word of Revelation is. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Come on. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Now they said Jesus Christ has white, woolly hair. Bring it out. What kind of hair do you have on top of your head, my sister? Which is beautiful hair, by the way. It is beautiful. What kind of hair is it? <laughs> Come on, tell me. My sister's giggling. Oh, but, what, but, what, but what kind is it? What do we call that? Afro. Afro. Which is what texture of hair? Wooly. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ has white, woolly hair. That's right. All right? You ever seen an older black man when he get older, how his hair turn white? Bring it out. Oh, when a younger black man too stressed out, does he get them braids early? <laughs> Read on. As white as snow. It said as white as snow. So he had a white woolly afro. You have your afro is black, you still young, but his is white and woolly. Read. And his eyes. And his what? And his eyes. Now, Jesus Christ has eyes, right? Because he was a man who walked this earth. They put him on a cross. You read that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to look at these two pictures. And once he's finished with the scripture, you're going to know which one of these men is Jesus Christ. Read. As what, as, and his eyes, where they flame of fire. All right. He said his eyes was red. Jesus Christ's eyes was red because he drank wine. The scripture said he was a glutton in a wine bibble. What was his first miracle? I'm not going to tell you. He did. What he did, sis? 
He turned water into wine at a wedding. That was Jesus Christ's first miracle. That's he right. kept the party going. Read on. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Uh oh. Now they describe it Jesus Christ's feet. And his feet is what? Like unto fine brass. Now what color is brass? Not grass. Brass. Brown. Oh, okay. Let's see if we go further than that. Read. As if they burn. Emphasize that again. Read it again. As if they burn. Read. In their furnace. Now somebody took brown brass and threw it in a fire and burned it. What color is going to come out? Black. Say it. No, don't do that. Say Black. it. Black. Black. So Jesus Christ is what? Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. According to the Bible. You understand? So you may be saying, well, what's the big deal? That don't, it ain't about his color, right? But watch what you're about to learn. Not only was Jesus Christ black, but all of his people, the nation of people he come from, are black. Bring it out. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Read. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 14, verse 2. Listen, hey, my brother, you need to hear this. Come here. You need to come up here and hear this. Because right. guess what? You are God on this earth. That's you are right. God on this earth. You are God on this earth. We're bringing it out. Don't leave. Let's hear what Jesus Christ's people look like. Read. Do not out. burn it. Come on. And the gates thereof language. What color are Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Come on. Unto the ground. Guess what? Hey, my sister. Can he hear that he's a God on this earth? Can we build him up right quick? Guess what? We showing yeah. you that God's chosen people are you, young brother. That's right. I know what they told us we ain't number of football players. Bring it out. We're only good to go to Ole Miss, catch the ball, LSU, be the running back. Hey, that was the time they wanted us to be the quarterback. Bring it out. They said you weren't too smart to be a quarterback. Come on now. But guess what now? Guess what we found out? We found out we ran greater than sports athletes. That's right. We found out we ran greater than just singers. And dancers and comedians, we ain't just rappers. Right. Guess what we found out? We the greatest nation on the face of this earth. That's right. You ever realize that we always the ones they use for uh, on the football teams? And that's been going on way before you was born. When I was a little boy, I was like, man, Barry Sanders. Man, look at Emmitt Smith. I want to play football. Look at Michael Jordan. Look at, uh, look at LeBron James. I want to play basketball. Why we ain't never saying, man, look at the greatest doctor. We don't, we don't, uh, W.E.D. Du Bois and all of these great men, men who made the, the stoplights, men who made peanut butter, everything that's used today. No, we were just wasn't cotton pickers, young man. We were the gods of this earth. That's right. We created how everybody moved it, the, the things that we do every day, day in and day out. But guess what they do? They shoot us down in the street. But I'm going to prove to you you're the greatest thing on the earth. Give me Deuteronomy 76. Bring it out. Let's get it. But guess right. what? I don't want you to think this is my opinion. I don't want you to think, sister, that we poison your son's mind. Guess what? You can get shot tomorrow and nobody go to jail. Read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. I'm about to show you God's justice. That's right. Read. Thou and holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. The Most High God said that the Israelites are a holy people. Read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee. Come on. To be a special people. Did you hear that? What's your name, young man? Jonathan. Jonathan. That's a powerful name. That's David's best friend in the Bible. His name was Jonathan. That's and guess right. what? He was a warrior priest. That's right. Warrior priest slaying his enemies by the thousands. Bring it out. Read it again. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy means separate. It means set apart. It means that we're special. Read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee. Come on. To be a special people. Come on. Unto himself. Unto himself. Read. Above. No. Equal to. Above. No. We, we, we ain't number Negroes. Above. I'm just an African American. Above. I'm just black. Above Read. all people that are upon the face of the earth. Jonathan, have anybody ever told you you was above all people on the face of this earth? No. Neither was I, Jonathan. Bring Neither was I. Peace. But guess what? You found men who look like you, who are not afraid to stand up. Right. Who are not afraid to go to the highways and the hedges and tell your oppressor you're the devil. That's right. We're not afraid to tell you that you're great. 
that the black woman is great, that the Hispanic man is great, and that you've been lied to your whole damn life. Bring it up. That's what we're not afraid to do. And guess what? With that comes what? Self-esteem. It comes confidence. That's right. Now when we see one another, we won't want to kill one another. Now that we know that Jesus Christ, the greatest man to walk the face of this earth, looked like me. That's right. So when I see my brothers, I don't see him as the enemy. That's right. I see him as my brother and I'm going to love him. When I see my sister, I'm not going to make her to a baby mama. I'm going to marry her, like the brother brought out a minute ago. I'm going to marry her and make her a wife. That's she's, right. a, she's a princess of God. A daughter of Sarah, and I'm going to treat her that way. I ain't going to call her no, no B or no hoe. I'm not going to put my hands on her. But that's when you know Jesus Christ looked like this. The men who know Jesus Christ looked like this, that's the men who treat their families right. That's right. The men who think Jesus Christ looked like this, go to church on Sunday, they shave the beards off their faces, they commit black on black crime, they sell drugs to one another, Bring it out. their pants sag off their butt, they, they, uh, they hook on them, they become whoremongers and adulterers. The men who know that Christ is an Israelite, a black man who like you, we changed our minds. That's right. We live a different life. Let me ask you a question. You should be one of Jonathan. Since you have the name of a mighty man, because you do. Your mother, that was a good name. That was of the spirit. Your mother named you Jonathan. Do you want to know how Jonathan knew he was an Israelite? Do you want to know how he knew? I, I'm going to show you how he knew. I'm giving you Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. Jonathan knew he had laws to live by. Because he, the, the Israelites had laws. And there was something that God commanded the Israelites to do. That way they could rule the planet Earth and not be at the bottom. Right. Because guess what? I'm tired of living like this. Hey, we can have all the county fairs we want. We know come Tuesday when you're on that job and they call you the N-word or, 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 or you get the poor education, you got the bad school, but they say we all equal. You know it ain't. You know what it is. Let's stop lying to ourselves. Bring it out. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Guess what? The men of God ain't afraid to tell his people who they are. That's right. Read. And it shall come to pass. And God said, this going to happen, you Israelites. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe and to do all his commandments. Now, John, he said, if you do all the commandments, Jonathan, guess what was going to happen to you? Read. Which I command thee this day. Read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Come above. On. A what? Above. What? Above. Read. All nations of the earth. Oh, that sounds like a, a heck of a deal right there. If I do what God said do, you mean to tell me I get to rule over the people who shoot me through a window? That's right. <laughs> I get to rule over the people. I get to rule? Read it again. I think that might be a misprint. And the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now, Jonathan, and when I, how old are you, bro? Jonathan, my son is 12 years old. You're the same age as my son. And when I look at you, I say, this could be a future leader of our nation. That's right. I don't see somebody I want to give some, some crack to and say, man, look, go in the hood and, and, and turn it and flip this, sell drugs to your people and go out there and bring back the money. And then you go to jail. Then you go to jail. They put you in jail for a hundred years. You don't know how long they gonna put you in there. So when you come out, your mind not even right. right. That's how long. They, and they'll put you in there at your age. Ain't no mercy for you. You're not gonna get the Amber Geiger. You understand? You're not gonna get the ten years, maybe the five. Get out on good behavior. No, 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 no. No, not you, Jonathan. Bring it up. The way this world was set up, when they get you for something that's illegal, illegal. What they're going to say is, you know what? He knew what he was doing. Try him as an adult. Let's give him 20 to 50. Oh, hell. Hard time. Sit him to Angola. And when you get out and you try to make something for yourself, anybody going to hire you for no job. So what you going to do? You're going to go back and sell his drugs to the same people all over again. Bring it out. That's not how God lives. Give me, let, me, let me show you how we ended up in that state. Verse 15. Bring it out. And then, I, then I want Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Go on. But it shall come to pass. Jonathan, if you don't do what this Bible say do, and this is a warning to you because guess what? You are Israelite. You my people. You know what I'm saying? Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said if you don't listen, Jonathan, read. 
to observe, to do all his commandments. All his commandments. Read. And his statutes. Come on. Which I command thee this day. Read. That are these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these blessings. I'm all the these curses. So I'm blessed and highly favored. I go to church. All these curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now he said, John, that if you don't listen to the Bible, curse will come on you and overtake you. Who did that happen to? The Israelites. That's right. Come point to yourself on this side. Come over here. Show me who you had on this side, John. Who was you? You got American blacks, you got West Indian, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cuban. Which one are you? Hey, y'all need to come here. We teach our people our actual nationality. And not what we was called in slavery. We actually showing our real names. If you won't come on, we got time. We got time. You know what I hear? Okay. Hey, you don't know there was a prophet among you. Read. Which one is you? John just said he's from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Yes, who else from the tribe of Judah? Give me, uh, you, you know what I want? Hebrews 7 and 14. Of Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. I'm going to tell you our people don't want to hear this. Because our people are afraid. I'm going to tell you straight. They, they see it, and they be like, ooh, but if you say that, they're going to get mad. And you know how they kill us without it. <laughs> you know how they do it. So if I find out Jesus Christ black, uh oh, read. For it is evident, come on, that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who's our Lord, Jonathan? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And he That's came out right. of what tribe? Say the mic. Israel. He came out of what? And what tribe out of Israel? Uh, read it again. Read it again. For it is evident, come on, that our Lord, that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Emphasize it again. The last word. Sprang out of Judah. So what type of? What type? What tribe? You, what tribe you say you came out of? Who else come out of Judah? Oh! We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.